Hello there everyone, I am Pepino here, and if you watched last tutorial, uh, you'll remember I put a basic interplanetary ship up into orbit around Kerbin, and then I promised I would show you guys launch windows. So, that is why I have put an ion probe here on the launch pad. Now you may be asking why would I do that to show launch windows. Well, the reason is if we were up controlling our interplanetary uh, ship here, we would only be able to warp at like 50 times speed because we're so low in the atmosphere. What we need to be able to do is warp at full speed, which you can do with a craft that is landed. Now, if we were planning ahead, what we would have done is before we launched our interplanetary ship, we would have warped until we had the launch window, but we were not planning ahead. So, instead, what we're going to do is put another ship on the launch pad and warp using that, then stop and once we get our launch window we will switch to control our actual interplanetary ship if that makes sense that's the way you do this if you have launched your interplanetary ship and all of a sudden realize oh no i didn't wait for a launch window this is what you gotta do so we will set duna as the target and we will begin our fast warp now Duna is the first one I'm going to show you the launch window for because it's one of the most common planets that people want to get to when they first start out. So, now uh, we're going to warp ahead until Kerbin is just behind Duna. And actually, we want the angle to be about 45 degrees. So, if you draw from Kerbin to the Sun to Duna, we need about a 45 ish degree angle. And again, I just, I, I'm not, it's not an exact science with me. Uh, you can get it to be if you want to, you know, pull out a protractor and put it to your screen. But um, I just kind of warp until it's about there, about a 45 degree angle. And that should get us uh, the ability to burn to make an encounter with Duna. So what you do is you would then go to the space center and then you would go to your tracking station which is the big satellite I'm assuming by this point you know that but just in case okay so we have Duna set as a target and we are orbiting Kerbin here so that green line out there is Duna's orbit now to get our uh, maneuver node that we are gonna need to get to Duna what you're gonna wanna do is set it up right on the opposite side of the Sun here and just start heading out until you see these things appear, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is drag this around until they get real close. Alright, so right on the opposite side of the sun there, they're getting pretty close. So this is where we've got our maneuver node. And here's our ejection angle. And now to find where exactly you want to meet up, I'll show you what to do. Alright, so you're very, very close right now, and actually this is pretty much perfect, because uh, this little dotted line and uh, this ascending node thing is your closest approach. So, that is really where you want to be meeting up. So then, you just drag this around a bit until you get your periapsis, and there you go, that's very easy. There's your burn, it isn't too bad, it's not too long of a burn, and then that would get you to Duna. So, there is the Duna launch window, let's move on to the next planet. Okay, so the next planet we're looking at is Joule. And now for Joule, you want it to be about a 95 degree angle that you're trailing Kerbin. So Kerbin is here, we would ideally warp up a bit further uh, than we are. So if you draw a line straight here to here, that's a little bit farther than a 95 degree angle, but it's pretty darn close and so I figured that was good but just know it's approximately 95 96 97 ish degree angle you want it to be ahead of Kerbin so that is your jewel launch window that you're looking to warp to and here is your burn that you can do and it's again approximate if you're a little bit off uh, this is gonna be a bit different but we've placed the maneuver node right here on the back side of the planet and we are burning prograde basically um, pretty much the whole way for uh, 2607 meters per second of delta V uh, which is fuel 
basically, uh, you should have enough in the interplanetary ship that we launched if you followed my tutorials. So that is your burn to Joule. And here again, another look at your approximate launch window that you want to be at. The next planet we are taking a look at is Dres, and it is one of the harder ones to get to, um, possibly the hardest. Uh, I couldn't even actually quite get a burn that would get to it. I got close, um, like down to like where they looked like they were about to touch, but I never actually got an encounter. And uh, the reason for that is I'm at a bad point in its angle uh, because of its elliptical, or not elliptical, whatever, um, tilted orbit. And so the reason that I can't get a burn is because I would rather have it somewhere down here so that when we meet up we are at um, the same point because it's a very small target so you don't have much room for error but I can show you that you want to be about 82 ish degrees uh, behind Drez so about around here maybe a little bit I burned a bit too far but again you can get um, more scientific if you want I mostly just guess but about 82 degrees behind Dres, and then you're going to want to do a similar burn last, to last time um, where you extend out your orbit and then you get your ascending node to match up to where your target is going to be and where you're going to meet and uh, it's basically the same thing as the other ones just a lot harder so I'd recommend uh, you probably don't go to Dres until you've got the hang of this okay and for the final planet that is farther out from Kerbin uh, or than Kerbin, I should say. We have Elu up here as our target, and you want to be trailing Elu by about 101 degrees. And again, this is uh, one of those planets that has a tilted orbit, so you need to make sure that you are going to encounter it when it's coming sort of down on its orbit. And you see with this maneuver, um, if we turn here, it's definitely not straight prograde for this encounter. Same with Drez, uh, if you get a Drez encounter. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit off, just like this is, and that is to get me on a similar orbit so that we can get our Elu encounter eventually. So, that is your burn for Elu. It's going to take a while, and again, it is, uh, if you look, pretty much in a similar spot to the other burns uh, to get to the planets out farther than Kerbin. Now next we're going to look at uh, the planets farther in than Kerbin and that's going to be a little different. So you see right here it's just on the opposite side of Kerbin from the Sun burning mostly prograde out there to our Elu periapsis. So now let's take a look at what's different about the planets in closer to the Sun. Okay so for the first of the inner planets we look at Moho and here is the angle you want to be at um, you want it to be trailing you actually by about 250 degrees this way. So in other words like 110-ish that way. About here basically. Um, we're not probably perfect but that's okay. And again this one has a slightly tilted orbit so you have to be wary of that and plan accordingly. But the different thing you do with your burn this time, since you want to go in towards the sun, you will burn prograde on the side of the Earth, or of Kerbin, facing towards the Sun. So, your maneuver node is set up here, opposite if you're going to one of the outer planets. And again, it's mostly, uh, this one actually I think is pretty much all just burning prograde because we set it up nicely. But you could use the triangles up here to correct your angle of uh, descend, or your ascending and descending nodes and things like that if you needed to. So that is how you get to Moho, and then we'll check out the last planet next, which is Eve. Okay, so we are here for the final planet, which is Eve, and you want Eve to be trailing you, so behind you in the orbit, by about 54-55 degrees, and then you just do the same similar burn as for Moho, where you start burning basically towards um, uh, prograde when you are out in front of the sun. So, 
just like this. And the reason that you do that is because if you burn prograde when you're uh, going this way, you will lose speed from Kerbin, which will bring your orbit in towards the inner planets. If you are on the outside, uh, you will be going, burning the same direction Kerbin is uh, orbiting, therefore you will be gaining speed and your orbit will be extending towards the outer planets. So that's the science behind that. That is why the burns are the way they are. So that is how you get to and burn to every planet in a Kerbal Space Program, every different interplanetary launch window. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and it has helped you out in getting to other planets. And I will see you all in the next tutorial.